Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And we've had a lot of interest in our hospital grade sanitizing hand gel and our organic hand gel. But we've had a lot of people say, I can't get some of these materials. So we also have a sanitizing spray video for you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a proper hand sanitizing gel using materials you can get even if you've never sourced cosmetic materials before. So all of these materials are very readily available even for those at home making their own hand sanitizing gel. Now a couple of things I wanna talk you through. In this particular video, I am using 100% ethanol. You can swap this out for isopropyl alcohol as long as it's a 100% grade. Now you can easily get isopropyl alcohol through online internet sourcing. And in the formula that we provide, it's absolutely free. You can access this formula easily. In this formula, I do let you know you can use either the ethanol, and I realize some of you can't get 100% ethanol, so you can use 100% isopropyl alcohol in its place. Now, I am also using uh, some essential oils in this video. Now I'm using this because I've had a lot of people ask, can I add some essential oil or fragrance? I do want to first off say that uh, I'm using lavender essential oil in this video. That's the one I would recommend. It has uh, potentially some of the least sensitivities for people. Um, do not use lime, lemon, bergamot, bitter orange or grapefruit. These are all phototoxic essential oils, which means when left on the skin and exposed to sunlight, it can cause irreversible staining to the skin. So if you choose not to use the lavender, please be careful about which essential oils you use in its place. Now you can leave the essential oils out completely. I'm just showing you how it's done in case you wanted to add some essential oils to the formula. Now the really important thing about this product is ethanol and isopropyl alcohol are highly flammable substances. So whether you're using isopropyl alcohol or ethanol, this is a highly flammable product. The material is highly flammable, the finished product is highly flammable. Please do not ship by air, it is a dangerous good. And make sure you store your materials and use them carefully because they are highly flammable. In this formula I'm using 60% uh, of the formula is ethanol or you might only be able to access the isopropyl alcohol. It will still work the same. Now at 60%, it is not true hospital grade. It is still sanitizing, uh, but it's not at the minimum of 70% that we would require for it to be a hospital grade. Now the reason I'm doing this is I can't get the formula to be stable for you if I use more than 60%. So I'm showing you the strongest possible sanitizing product that you can make at home even without specialized equipment or formulation knowledge. So now, let me show you how it's made. Okay, here I have my water measured out, and again, you can get this formula easily. It's absolutely free. It is a formula, so we don't put it on the screen because we wanna provide you with proper formal information and instructions, but you can get the formula easily. So here's my water. Here I have my glycerin. Now this is important because alcohol and isopropyl alcohol, very drying to the skin. So we use a little bit of glycerin to counter this drying. Now here I'm just using a xanthan gum. You can just use a food grade xanthan gum. I am using a cosmetic grade here. Food grade xanthan gum is quite similar and you will be able to source that very easily. Some xanthan gums just won't give you a very clear finish. So it's still gonna stabilize the product, it is still fine to use. Now I'm first slurrying the glycerin and the xanthan together. This is gonna make it really easy for me to add it to the water phase. I'm just gonna add this to my water phase now and stir it through and the gel forms really easily. So as you can see, I've formed my gel. Now, here I have my lavender essential oil, here I have my ethanol. Again, you can make a direct swap for isopropyl alcohol. Do not use methylated spirits. Do not use denatured ethanol. They contain a denaturing agent which is not good for your skin. So it's either undenatured ethanol, 100% strength, 
or 100% strength isopropyl alcohol that I have measured out here for you. Now we just stir these to combine the essential oil with the alcohol. And then I'm going to add this slowly to my gel. Now it's really important that you add this slowly and stir between each addition to let the gel network reform. If you just tip it all in and stir, the product will fall apart on you. So I'm just gonna do small additions. And stir it through at each step so I keep my gel network. And here you go, here's the finished hand gel. Now this will increase viscosity slightly by the next day. This is the product on the day you make it. By the next day you will find the viscosity is slightly higher and still nice and stable. Well there you go, that's how to make a sanitizing hand gel at home using materials you can easily source. Now you'll notice I did hand mix this um, because it is a flammable substance. If you don't have spark proof equipment and if you can't be sure that your blenders or mixers at home are spark proof, don't use them. Mix by hand, I mixed by hand to show you it can be done. Of course, if you have access to laboratory equipment, then use that because that would be spark proof. Remember this is a highly flammable substance. Do not ship by air and make sure you store your materials carefully. Remember to take note of those essential oils to not use and make sure you keep yourself safe with this easy DIY and effective hand sanitizing gel. Easily made at home with materials you can source. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to our channel to receive notifications about all our formulations. Happy formulating.